old man. Give us all your money. Are you boys talking to me? Oh crap, it's Pliskin 54 from Warhawk Defense. Tell you what, how about we play a little Kansas City rules? I'm gonna throw this can up in the air. When it hits the ground, everybody draws. Well, what can you say? Springfield XD subcompact 9 millimeter nice gun 13 round bottom mag it's going to be my new uh, wintertime carry uh, I've been wanting one of these for a while uh, went on sale at Cabela's so I picked one up so let's take a look at it uh, do a little more in-depth review and we'll go down and look at where we we got those bad guys all right there's the bad guys that had the gall to draw down on Pliskin 54 of Warhawk Defense they kind of lost the Bangkok rules shot there look at that one two three in the center one miss one in the chin one just over the eye had one miss uh, we do over here oh look at that upper chest throat chin eyeball there's a miss over the shoulder one in the shoulder not too bad those are the first shots ever fired out of that uh, little gun and we're talking today about this Springfield XD uh, nine millimeter subcompact um, been wanting one of these for a while and been having an internal debate with myself for a long time and we're going to talk about that right now okay um, we've come over to the shade we hope it's not too dark um, it's late on in the afternoon and it's hot uh, this part of the country is still hot still summertime and um, but I, you know, I wanted to talk a little philosophy here. Now, I teach concealed carry. Warhawk Defense teaches uh, tactical pistol, concealed carry, rifle, you know, a bunch of stuff. But mostly, uh, mostly what we teach is uh, concealed carry. And I have had an ongoing personal debate for years with myself about what kind of gun to carry concealed. Now, I really like revolvers because I'm an old guy. Um, old guys tend to have grown up with revolvers, which I did, and I like them. And so my pocket carry, and it's on our website, is uh, 642 Smith & Wesson 5-shot, and I pocket carry it right here. In fact, I pocket carried it all around yesterday, everywhere. It's my everyday pocket carry. But you know, as I as I teach classes and as I look at things on the internet and I read, I realize that there are circumstances where five shots uh, just simply may not be enough. And uh, you know, I was running a scenario in my head the other day about the office where I work. A thousand people work in that office. Um, not a lot of security on the doors. Anybody could just kind of waltz right in, and if that happened, would five shots be enough to um, take care of a situation? I don't know. Maybe not. And as I thought about that, and as I looked at videos, and I talked to students, and students asked me, I thought, you know, a combat situation, in, and if we get confronted by bad guys, that's a combat situation. When I was in the military, I carried an M9 Beretta for combat 15 rounds 9 millimeter well I began to think about that a little bit and I thought you know I'm real comfortable with that little revolver that snubby and I like it and it shoots well and I shoot it well 
but maybe it would be nice to have another option and maybe a small concealable semi-auto that had a significant round count. Now I looked at the micro pistols, you know, what they call mouse guns and the little five, six shots, you know, the kel and even the new Glock 42, we did a video on it, even the new Glock 42, but it's only a six shot. Well, I can put five in my little revolver, so six really doesn't, doesn't change much, and it's 380. And I looked at the shield and the XDS and, all, you know, all kinds, and I said, well, what the heck, it's five or six shots, maybe seven. I might as well just carry my, my snub nose because I like it better. If I'm going to carry a semi-auto, I need to carry one with a substantial round count. I need to carry one that is small enough I can conceal it. And, uh, and, and big enough that I can handle it, that I can get a full grip on this gun. And, you know, those little small guns, it's darn hard to get a full grip on those. With this one, even with the short, the short grip, my hands, can, I can get my bottom finger on it. Besides, I like Springfield XDs. I've trained, all the training I've done with semi-autos has been with a four inch, nine millimeter, uh, regular size, duty size Springfield XD. And the competition, when I was shooting the USPSA competition, were also shot with XDs. So all of my, uh, well not all, but much of my practical shooting and training experience has been on this type of gun. So, you know, being an engineer, uh, I kind of ran those calculations in my head and said, it's enough gun, it's enough uh, ammunition, it's small enough to conceal, but probably not a pocket gun. It means I've got to either carry it here on the hip, or inside the waistband or something and then wear a covering garment. But it gives me the capacity to um, have a gun that fits my hand that I, I've already trained to, manual of arms I'm already trained to. So I said, you know, when I saw this yesterday at Cabela's on sale for $455, I said, you know what, I need, I need to get this. I've been thinking about this for years. I said, no, I'll get a little Glock. No, I'll get a little car. And actually, my son had a small car for a while, and, and I did use that occasionally, but he's moved, took, took the car with him. Um, so I said, you know, this, this fits my, uh, with the thing that a lot of the experts have told me, bring enough gun, use the, use the biggest gun that you can handle uh, and that you can conceal, and I can conceal this gun, and I can handle it well, and it's big. It's much bigger. 13 rounds. And in these magazines, you can get an extended mag on it with 16. But the 13 seems fine to me. 13. If I can't get out of a situation with 13, I can always carry a spare mag in my pocket or on my belt. Um, but this fit the criteria. Bring enough gun, biggest gun I can, I can carry. Uh, I already know the manual of arms to it, and it shoots great, and we're going to do some more shooting with it right now, see how accurate I can really get it. Um, but anyway, I chose this one, so now I think my concealed carry choice guns are going to be the Smith & Wesson 642, this Springfield XD9 Compact, and then occasionally I've got a P6. Uh, Sig Sauer that's been to the Sig Custom Shop and it's been all tuned up and um, That's only an eight round single stack though. Now. I love that gun. Actually. I shoot better with that gun than any other gun I own uh, But it's got an eight round mag count So uh, those three I think are going to be my favorite guns to carry concealed, but this one's going to go in uh, In the rotation now, and I'm going to start carrying this one and get used to it inside the waistband probably until uh, winter comes in, maybe outside, and maybe this holster. And this holster is a Springfield XD, it's actually an XDM holster, but it fits this little gun just right. So, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, we'll do some more shooting now with the gun, and, and uh, you know, just, we'll tape up those targets down there and see how accurate we can get shooting slow.
right. So what'd you think? I like it. First time I shot it, so I just had to get used to it, but I've shot an XD before, so I've always liked XDs. So I like I like it. It's a good gun. Feels good in the hand. Fits my hand well. Was it uh, any any issues with being short or anything or? No, no, not really. So that was pretty good. Good like shooter. That. Which one were you shooting at? Just both. I went back and forth. I missed the first two times. Just getting my, just trying to get used to it. But after that, I got. Yeah, let's go down and take a look. Got used to it. This was my first shot. And then after that. And then the rest of them, then, oh, so they're right in there then. Chest shots all in there. Shot his ear off. So you think you're pulling to the left a little? Looks like it. That means you gotta change, change your stance up a little, a couple of head shots there. Change your stance up a little. Oops, sorry. Change your stance up a little, get both feet both legs squared up and shoot isosceles, see if that makes a difference. Got some down there in the belly too. Couple of down there. All right. Just load up again, try some more. I'll mark these. All right. All right, don't shoot the camera. All right. Here we go. Bad guy camera view of Brent. Bad guy can. Remember, straight. Circles. Try accuracy shot. See, uh, see what we can get. inside the circle, one just outside. And this is from about seven or eight yards. Seven or eight yards. This was about almost ten yards, I guess. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was trying to put them right there. I was drifting this way with them. It's that goofy nylon tipped herder's ammo. I don't really like that ammo. And then I tried to put one between his eyes that went here and the other one went here. But either way they're in this center circle, which is the kill zone circle in the in the eye eye nose area to penetrate the brain. So it's definitely inside of that circle. But uh, and then on this side, um there's one, two, three, four in there, and one out here. Um, and I think that was probably with a different ammo, but you know, fun little gun to shoot. Accuracy's good enough for concealed carry for sure. Okay, you want to shoot it now? Sure. All right. Here, give me the camera.